Hey guys, what's up? Noah here. Today we're going to be talking about a little teeny tiny thing I saw at the bottom of Apple's webpage for OSX High Sierra, and it's uh, pretty exciting, so let's get into it. If there was Wi-Fi in this botanical garden where I am right now, then I would pull it up and double check that it's still there, but I guarantee you I saw it with my own two somewhat bad eyes. Anyway, in the footnotes of OSX High Sierra, there's something that says uh, external graphics card support coming in like Q1 or Q2 of 2018. I think it just said spring 2018, so Q1, Q2. Pretty freaking exciting. Why is it so exciting? Well, basically, it means that we're no longer limited to the graphics cards that uh, Apple decides to put in its MacBooks or Macs. We can now use, you know, NVIDIA's, AMD's, you know, GTX's, that kind of thing. Granted, Apple, I'm sure, has to do some sort of like BIOS tweak or something to make sure all the cards work, and there will probably be some problems, probably. But for the most part, it's like a huge step forward. I mean, for for like about a year now, we've had things like the Razer Core and like other external PCI graphics boxes that have like served the same function, but they aren't really compatible with Mac unless you're very good at kernel commands or you're you're very good at kernel commands. That's about it. Or a 400 pound man sitting on his bed hacking the US election, <laughs> then it's pretty much been impossible to use external graphics on your Mac. And now we finally have that option. So what does this mean in terms of like non-hardware stuff, like software optimization, that kind of thing? What is it useful for? Are Macs gonna be able to play games? Is it gonna be CUDA accelerated? What is happening here? For the past like decent period of time, Apple has just stuck with AMD GPUs on their new iMac Pro edition, they're using like an 11 teraflop like AMD chip. I think it's called the Vega Pro. Apple has really veered away from the CUDA path and gone more for OpenGL. Um, and that's what AMD is, is basically touting their horns about. And they're producing some pretty, pretty good chips. They are very good for the type of rendering workloads that most Mac users like brag about, I guess. I'm gonna put my money on the fact that in OS X, this is going to be primarily used for, um, you know, faster video editing performance, video encoding, that kind of thing. And then if Apple is so kind as to allow this feature to work in boot camp, that means that like the options are pretty much limitless because we could be like already on my MacBook, I can play, I can play like AAA titles as like the same, the same settings as like an Xbox 360. This means that like in addition to be having a like pretty decent uh, mobile graphics chip for when you want to edit videos and you don't you're not like at your workstation when you do come back to your workstation you can just plug in your USB-C to your Mac unfortunately this won't work with Thunderbolt 2 or maybe it will I don't know but when you come back you can plug in that single USB-C cable into your Mac and all of a sudden you have a monitor you have power you have like USB hubs for days you have ethernet, you have a freaking graphics card. Basically, you're converting your thin and light, even like MacBook, the regular one, the one that's like this big, you're converting that to a beast gaming machine. Maybe not beast general machine, because you know, beside like the, the 15 inch uh, i7s, you're not really getting huge, huge performance numbers out of these Macs. Or maybe the 18 core iMac Pro, I wonder how that's gonna work. Is this just an excuse so that Apple can sell you the iMac Pro and then instead of upgrading the internal graphics, you upgraded the external graphics? And then you spend all that money on the internal graphics which you're no longer gonna use? I think so, yeah. Sounds about, sounds about like Apple. So that's kind of the general use case of this. That's where I see it going at least. And then you might be asking like, why did Apple all of a sudden decide to do this? This technology of PCI through Thunderbolt has been around for like, I'd say a good number of years, three or four or five years, um, where it has worked effectively. Maybe not perfectly, but it has worked effectively. I'd say the main reason is because Apple is developing a new Mac Pro. Um, and that has to have, they're trying to go back to like the more modular, like put in new GPUs when your one gets old. So they don't basically get complaints about it and they sell more because people like customizing stuff. So the more units they can sell, the better it is for them, the better it is for us, that kind of thing. So that's it, the main reason they wanted this support for the Mac Pro and they're just deciding to release it across all their product line, which I think is a smart move, depending on how well implemented it is. Hopefully it works. I do hope that many 
graphics cards work with it, not just like a select few, like you have to buy like this and this, and then this enclosure, and then this cable. I mean, Apple isn't particularly anal about those kind of things, but it, I can see it happening. Like, you know, they have like the lightning cable on the iPhone. What the f is a lightning cable? <laughs> Use USB-C. That's probably the reason why Apple decided to make this move. If you like what I'm doing over here, leave me a like, comment down below, any questions, comments, future idea videos, future video ideas. Oh, subscribe, That that is marginally more important than doing anything else because actually technically I guess that like watching this video like thousands of times is better for me because then I get the ad revenue from it. But if you subscribe and then you just watch each video once, which seems more practical, then it's better for both of us. So either watch this video on repeat for the next like 20 years or subscribe. I'll leave it up to you, it's really a, it's really a pretty even choice I'd say. Personally, I do the repeat one because then I don't have to you know, go through the labor of clicking the mouse two inches down from where my head is. But I don't know, it's up to you. I can't really make these really tough life decisions for you. I'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Peace.